Yo, welcome back to the channel. We've got another video today. This one's uh, a unique one. Did Sauron and Morgoth see themselves as evil? I don't know. I saw it, and it's History of the Ages. Probably one of the best channels on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to them. Um, and I'm just curious as to uh, what this video is all about. So let's watch it. Let's get into it. Subscribe to the channel. And let's do this. Welcome to History of Middle-Earth. Today we're going to take a deeper look into the great villainous characters of Morgoth and Sauron and try to answer what I consider to be a very- Also, who are you? Team Morgoth or Team Sauron? M's in the chat or S's in the chat? Let me know. In the comments. Very interesting question. Are Morgoth and Sauron actually aware that they are evil? That is actually a good question. It's very easy to assume that the so-called bad guy in any given story is evil, because it's what the opinions and thoughts of the main characters tell us to think, right? Okay. But what makes a person evil? Is it the cruel and hurtful actions that they perform? Or does it simply come down to a point of view? We are going to look at this question using... Uh, it starts off probably as their point of view and then the cruel actions they perform because of their point of view. It also could be their upbringing, uh, the people around them who are evil as well. An evil person can also turn people around him evil, you know, or people who are less fortunate or un who are kind of weak-minded or whatever, right? Um, that's a good question, though. In Tolkien's good, characters, good, specifically good Sauron well. and Morgoth as our examples of classic evil characters to determine what defines evil. Morgoth was, without a doubt, a villain and openly acknowledged this himself, even considering himself to be the bad guy in his own story. He knew what he was doing was evil, and willfully committed to it. He only had the desire to destroy and corrupt, and he did so purely out of spite and malice. His insecurity and his failures to comprehend the nature of the existence he was a part of led him to stray away from the other Valar, and become nothing short of a menace. Morgoth was a being of pure malignance and nihilism. On the other hand, Sauron was no such thing, at least to him. He was most certainly the hero of his own story. Interesting. Sauron, as a mire of Aule the Smith, was a being that was heavily swayed towards orderliness. He did not do the horrible things he did simply to cause destruction, corruption and pain. And when he did destroy and corrupt, he did so with the higher moral purpose, not simply to anger his superiors like Morgoth. Sauron believed that Eru and the Valar had abandoned the world to waste away. He perceived Eru's <sighs> gift of free will to the elves and men and dwarves as a serious design flaw, especially in humans, who were capable of causing so much great destruction. His hmm. goal was to take this free will away through various means, first through deception, and if that didn't work, by forcibly removing the ability to have choice from the free peoples. He crafted the rings of power to ensnare and control the minds of those he wished to rule over, in the hopes that these free people would all be bound to his vision and his will rather than that of themselves, or worse, that of the Valar. So he was kind of like a dictator. In his perfect vision of Middle-earth, Sauron would rule as its king and as its god. And even if they disapproved, he never expected the Valar or Eru himself to intervene, since he almost considered them to be like negligent, hands-off supervisors of Arda. Now, in the case of Morgoth, whether or not he realized he would lose didn't really matter to him. His goal was never to win against Eru and the Valar. He knew very well he could not destroy or replace them. He merely wanted to destroy what they represented, and in that respect, he succeeded. He lost in arms, but all of creation was forever tarnished by his corrupting and disrupting influence. Eru's perfect existence was no longer perfect because of what Morgoth did. Sauron, on the other hand, never thought of what he was doing as evil per se. He thought of Eru and the Valar, like I said. I Just off topic, do, are you guys? Do you guys um? I've never liked Sauron's helmet. I'll be honest. I like it from here up. I love this part. It's the this part. I just don't like it. I don't know why. I don't know. I feel like he should have had more lines here. Like I like the helmet when they when they're, I like the helms that look like faces when they're evil helms. You know. This part's just always annoyed me from out of Sauron's helmet. Obviously, it's probably, you know, what the books described that as, but I'm just, you know, being honest. As neglectful parents who allowed think. their children to run around causing... Eru and the on the other hand, 
never thought of what he was doing as evil per se. He thought of Eru and the Valar, like I said, as neglectful parents who allowed their children to run around causing mayhem and chaos without ever intervening. Interesting. In, in turn, he saw himself as the necessary, responsible adult that had to step in to put these spoiled brats in their place, and if necessary, use force to ensure their obedience. So, knowing this information, does this change your personal opinions on either Sauron or Morgoth? Do you now see Sauron as a lesser evil villain? Or is he still the ultimate bad guy to you? Let us know your thoughts. Uh, no, he's still the same. But it, it's it's cool to know that d where their perspectives of their evil came from, right? Sam was a good guy. He gave up gifts in form of rings, developed a thriving industry, and created thousands of jobs. <laughs> so Sam never looked at his black horned skull looking helmet and thought, are we the baddies? Tolkien, he's evil. Heroes, he's evil. Morgoth, yeah, I'm evil. Sauron, we're the good guys. <laughs> yeah, they love their spikes. True. Sauron to Saruman. I don't like hobbits. They're coarse, rough, and irritating as they get everywhere. But not like you. You're everything soft and smooth. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that was a really good video. I liked it. I liked it. Um, Definitely check out History of the Ages if you haven't. Really good channel. And uh, subscribe to my channel as well. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see in the uh, channel in the future. Peace out. God bless and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.